Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I just want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can do so through buymeacoffee.com. There, you can make donations to the channel and you can also suggest stories as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. So again, if you want to donate to the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. My family has a big house with a big backyard. I never really went outside much, mainly due to how cold it is and the bugs, but I went out occasionally when I needed to. One day, I was playing with my dog and I noticed something in the lake. It looked like a rock that wasn't there before. When my dog looked at it, she began barking like crazy. I had to use a shock collar to get her back inside. A week later, my friend was visiting. He noticed the rock and poked it with a stick. This made me question what it was when the rock moved. My friend poked it again, but nothing happened. He went home later that night. The following morning, the police were at my house. My friend had gone missing, and I was the last person seen with him. I told the cops I didn't know where he was. But then, I was told that someone was walking around my backyard and was reportedly carrying something with him after he went missing. I told them that I didn't know what happened to my friend and after answering some questions, the cops left. I went to the lake in my backyard to see if the rock was still there. It was, but not only was it in a different spot in the lake, but a second rock was there, inches away from the first one. Now every time I let my dog out into my backyard, she looks at the lake and just barks at it, as if something was lurking there. When I got a chance to look at the rocks, I grabbed the second one and got it out of the water. That's when I found out it wasn't a rock, it was a dead body, rotten and decaying. I scream it and call it the police. They did an analysis on the dead body. Its DNA matched that of my friend who went missing. When the police tried to get the first thing out of the lake, it wouldn't budge as if rooted into the ground. The police couldn't do an analysis on the thing in the water due to it not moving, but it was enough to convince me to move. After getting my dog to sleep and locking the door, I went to bed until I heard wet footsteps walking up my stairs. My dog woke up and started barking again. The doorknob jiggled as whatever was on the other side tried to get in. The thing began to scratch my bedroom door over and over. I heard it growl as it kept trying to get in. When it was 4 a.m., it stopped. I heard more wet footsteps as I left. I've been trying to sell the house with no luck. My house was now known as a place where a murder had occurred, and there was nothing I could do about it. I am thinking about going to bed now. I don't know if the thing from the lake will be back. And if it does, God help me. <laughs> 